Welcome to FaithWorks, the enlightening and empowering program that builds your faith to help you overcome every single challenge in this life. My name is Kaude Adeshoga. I'm your host. I want you to sit back, listen, and be blessed. God bless you. There is peace from God. And there's the peace of God. God's peace. I'll release it over some states in Nigeria and I can guarantee you, you will not hear one sound of a bullet. It will hold for just seven, ten, one month. One day, I was talking to a man who was telling me in the days of the early of democracy how militancy had gotten worse in the Niger Delta. And I said, I placed my peace upon the Niger Delta for one month. That whole month, there was not a single agitation in the whole of the Niger Delta of Nigeria. Not one. My peace held sway. Not one bullet. Nobody, nobody. They went on holiday. God told me there was an election coming. He said, I need your peace to calm the election. When I released my peace on the day of that election, my peace generated rain. And by that rain, all those who were ready to fight went to sleep. <laughs> Kalush, Kata, Mandeke. I was at a wedding. They asked me to take a prayer. And I said, I pronounce peace on all of you. A Muslim lady stood up and said, Amen. The rest were eating. I didn't know what happened. It was one of the families of the um, relatives of the wedding that told me that the Muslim lady sent to tell you that when she said Amen, they mentioned the ailment she had, that everything vanished at the wedding. Everything vanished at the wedding. Oh, miracles happen at wedding. It's not only wine that is changed. Healings take place. Praise God. In Luke 19, I'll read from verse 41. Everywhere is calm. It's quiet. Now, you can't shout again because the peace is calming everything down. The peace is already resting, resting on your heads. When he came near, Jerusalem. He beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou had known even thou, at least in these thy day, the things which belong to thy peace, but now they hid from thine eyes. Then he went on to say the consequences of not knowing the things that belong to the peace. So the peace comes with things that augur your peace. As this peace rests on your head this morning, any human being that is carrying instruments of your peace an instrument of peace may be a contract. An instrument of peace may be an appointment. An instrument of peace may be a health prescription. An instrument of peace is something that will all go for your moving forward in life and you will move forward in tranquility and safety. Jacob moved forward but not in tranquility. He said, I have moved forward but with evil. I have seen many evil. Paul said, I will finish my race with what? Joy, not with evil. When the peace is on you, they are carriers of your peace. This peace is to locate men and women who are custodians of what will augment your peace. This peace will locate them and cause your eyes to open and receive them. Meaning, it comes with goodies. It's not just sitting on your head and dancing. It comes when it sits on your head. It's calling. It's calling. It's calling. It's calling people. Call, say, Mr. So 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 and so. That job on your table is for the peace of this man. Bring it. Aliba. It's an authority. He can't say no to it. It's a kingdom. It rules over all kingdoms. Say, and his kingdom ruleth over all.
So, it will not be hid from you. On these grounds of things that augur for your peace, I pronounce again, peace be upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Romans 8, 6. God says one of the requirements for you to have this peace is that you must be spiritually minded. He said to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is peace. Life and peace. So it demands again don't consider the things you are saying, the same peace is demanding of it. The same act of faith is making the same demand. So like Abraham, do not consider the deadness of Sarah's womb. Don't consider your organs dead. Rather consider he who giveth life to the dead. Be persuaded that he will bring to life all these things. What he has promised he will do. He said if you allow your mind to be running through such things. You see people looking depressed. A Christian should never be depressed. That's a carnal Christian. No matter what happens, should never. I don't know what can happen to you that can match what happened to Job. Job was not depressed. In all that happened, he was still filled with hope. When a Christian has no hope, God should recall him home. He has no business on the earth, no matter what. That depression should be for the world, not in Christ Jesus. Depressed for what? Child is alive, you don't have money, you are depressed. Go to the hospital and see people lying on sick bed with no hope of what to do. Said Abacock, if you want to be spiritual minded, keep thinking about the vision. Keep thinking about the vision. I'm not saying you should close your eyes about the Chaldeans, but don't let them occupy your mind. You say, they say, dollar me rise. Don't let that occupy your mind. Let it rise. Let it rise. What are you thinking of? Think of your harvest. Think about what God said he would do in 2020 in your life. They said there's a ban. Leave the ban to America. Leave what? Keep what he says to do. He says, I want to send you there. Go on. Get your documents. Get your passport. Leave the ban. For your sake, the man said, when I got employed, the federal government issued a DM, an executive order, that all from this level to this level should be promoted from 8 to 12. So after six months, when he was there, they issued another order closed. Leave Trump is a human being. When it's time for you to go, he will suspend the order. When you have entered, he will reunite, he will bring back the order. But don't spend time thinking about the order. Be spiritually minded. The peace will settle. If you are carnally minded, the peace will return. You have not been found worthy. May you be found worthy. In the name of Jesus. The peace can be multiplied. And it can be reduced. First Peter chapter 1, I read from verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through the sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience, the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. It's a spirit, so it can increase in your life, and it can reduce. Now, if it increases, that means the goodies increase. If it reduces, the goodies reduce. So you should increase it and learn how to increase it. You all carriers of that peace. I've released it upon you. I've given it. It's mine freely. He said the things of secret things belong to God. The things revealed belong to us. It has been revealed. I have received it of the Lord. And I've given it to you freely. Freely. Now I'm teaching you to manage it. So that when you walk 
I'm not saying when you hear kidnappers, I walk into, no, no, no. Go normally. Go normally. If they show up, when they see you, they will return. They will let you pass. You, you, are, you are sacred. You are untouchable to them. They can't touch you. They can't. When I, when I carry this piece and I enter, I've entered places. I may say there's something different. There's something around you. It's different. I can feel that piece sometimes like an air. Sometimes I do this. I can feel it. You can feel it. My hand will pass through, but I can feel like a mist, like my hand passing. Is that peace and anointing? Is a spirit. It's a spirit. So he said, "Peace be multiplied." Now, how will it be multiplied? Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter one. Verse 2, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. So if you want the peace to increase, if you want to increase your safety capacity, if you want to increase your largest capacity, he said make our time to study the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Try and find out the attributes and character of God. Leave Elijah for now. Look, talk about God. Leave the fire from heaven. Leave fire. Leave Satan. Leave witches. Even witches, when they see your peace, they, if they hang around, they say they want to have slight respite from you. That's why. I remember once after the Lord pronounced that peace upon me, and I'll wake up in the morning. Sometimes I'll open the door. And I'll see dogs and chickens at the door. And I'll try to drive them and they refuse to go. I said, what is it? The Lord said, it's the peace. That creation is craving for that peace. They're craving for it. And I'll drive, and I have to call someone. Come on, drive this thing out. What's this? Chicken? Like four? Sitting down by my door? What is this? And they'll line up on the staircase. Dog? From outside? You see, cut down. What is this? The Lord said, it's the peace. Even animals and creation recognize it. And they, they love. It gives them succor. Do you hear what he said? Even creation itself is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Why are they waiting for the manifestation? In the Garden of Eden, <clears throat> when those animals were in the garden, they experienced a glory. The trees experience the glory. That's why in Isaiah 55, he said, when this word comes to pass in your life, he said, the trees will clap. They will say, finally, that presence we experience when Adam was in the garden and God will come in the cool of the day. We can feel it. It has returned. It is life for them. That's what they are waiting for. That glory. Because when God comes to have fellowship with Adam, there's a glory, there's a presence in the garden. And those animals are there. They can feel it. And after Adam lost it, they have not felt it since. So when a son of God is birthed and he begins to walk in the light, that glory returns. Any creation around it, human beings may not know. Human, but the animals know. The birds know. The insects know. Everything knows. And they come to have some succor from it because they too, they have been haunted by the loss of the glory and the degradation that has come upon the earth from the loss of that glory. So when they feel it, those trees are still alive. They've not been cut down. They say, ah, ah, the last time I felt this was when God came to fellowship with Adam. They are not quarreled then. Is God back again? I can't see. I can't see anybody. I can feel that aura from the almighty that peace of the Almighty can feel it. All my saps are life. All my cells have come back to life from that glory. The Lord said that's what they're feeling. That it took a while for them to go. I said, no, this can't continue. Ah, no, 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 no. God said, no, you can't remove the peace. I said, ah, I can't continue. I can't go out. Who oh, 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 oh. said, get out? Who oh, 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 oh. get out? One time I took hot water. I said, I was going to pour the dogs. I'll pour you. They move like that. They'll sit down. I said, what is this? He says the peace. I didn't understand then. It's that peace. 
Libu Sandi, Vokuma Katia. When it settles on Nigeria, I leave all the story. But I only put it on Nigeria when I find who is worthy for it. That means the leader must be worthy for it. Don't worry, Nigeria will rise. Amen. It will rise again in a phenomenal short time. Do you desire to live and operate God's way of doing things? Do you desire to understand how faith works? Fundamentals of Faith is a book written by Kayode Adishoga. It teaches in simple terms how to operate the God kind of faith that helps you overcome all hurdles of life. Fundamentals of Faith is available for purchase at Trem Bookshop Obani Koro Lagos and Bible Wonderland Stadium Suruleri Lagos. Get a copy today. He said, no me more. Jesus said, no my father. He said, the peace will multiply in your life. I remember once I walked, I could feel that peace around me. As I walked on the road, cars will park. People will come down. Please, where are you going? Can we give you a ride, please? So there's something around you we don't understand. Is that peace? Jesus. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. Eleboko suma tayi katali. Kama tan de kia o chufia tali enyinga boko shiata. Lemo se keba kunda vakataya. Manga leke zege dia. Mungo lo bogo zege ketia makandi. Korobondo zeka mahia kachanda. Kelima kusono. Kondo lo voshi. Kankalia kabakatada. Sende lebo si fredehi. As this peace to begin to address every situation, every circumstance in your life. It's a spirit and it's a person. And begin to set in order the things that are lacking in your life in the name of Jesus. In Isaiah 55, he says, you will go out in peace. So you'll be led forth in peace, meaning it will give you direction. It will guide you in the path you should go in life. It will chart the right way for you. It will lead you in the path of life and avoid the pathway of death for you. So you'll be led forth with peace. It will channel you through your purpose and advance you through that which God, Zion, has set before you. If you have gone off track, it will bring you back into the trackway and correct your pathway and align you. When a plane wants to take off, it has what they call, I'm trying to remember what they call, it's like a compass. It aligns with something at the end of the wrong way. When they see that thing, they know that they are aligned in the right chart and they can move and take off. If you don't see it, there's a possibility you're on the wrong tarmac. Don't attempt a takeoff. Ask where you are, check and find out. This peace will align you with that compass. <coughs> In areas where you are straight off, it will realign you back. It will guide you to that post. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody entered my house when that piece landed. He said, did you paint an elderly woman? He said, Pascal, you just painted your house. I said, there's no paint on it. Look at all the dirt. He said, it's glowing. He said, I wish I could sit and sleep. I said, no, you can't sleep in my house, but you have to leave. It's that piece. He said, it looks like you just painted. I said, I didn't paint it. I've not painted it in years. It's not painted. He said, it looks painted. Sometimes when the piece around... I remember once Brother Francis came to visit me. I said, there are two angels here. There are some here. There are some here. Angels are transversing up and down the place. Spirits from the throne of God. They make your home of activity, of abode. 
The bringing things from above, taking things up and bringing things on that ladder into that house. Peace! Peace! In your life, in your bodies, in your cells, in your tissues, in your organs, in your womb, peace! Your every as by your tooth, I declare peace in the name of Jesus. It's also called favor. It radiates favor. And that's why favor, an instrument of that peace, is a messenger that brings good tidings and good things and draws. Is that peace and that favor that will bring the wise men to your doorpost. They will come with gold, frankincense, and man. That's what Jesus needs. What you need, they will bring it. He can cause them down red mass. They will bring it. And they will get to you. And they will deliver to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory. 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 Come see, come. I guess the choir can rise. Sing that song. You know, the peace is a spirit. It's an anointing. Sometimes you teach and he says, no, I want to do one or two things. Not that one. That's all. I'll just bring this point. In the rapture, in 2 Peter 3 14, just keep playing the tone on the foot under. He says, from verse 10, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And I just understood right there when God says they're not ready. Say, I'm coming, but they're not ready. He said, I am coming. And I now understand why I had to preach this. I just got it now. It says, A night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are daring shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all conversations and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved. The elements shall meet with fervent. Nevertheless, we are calling to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwell righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him. How? In peace, when it comes, is the peace he's looking for. He said, now release it so that, because I'm coming soon, if I don't find it on them, he said, I'll take their goodies and give it to another. I must find this peace. It's a condition for the Lord to hand you over what is yours. Yes, we have sown. Yes, it's our time to reap. He said, yes, I am coming with your reward, but there's a condition. If I don't find this peace, you will not get it. And he showed me we're not ready. I said, what is it, oh God? What is it? What are, we are confident. What? I now understand. That peace is not there. Rise and receive it. That's the only way. That's the only way you can get it in full. He must find that peace on your head. That glory. When he comes and he sees you, he says, oh, yours is actually seven, but I've added three more. Take ten. Yours is two, but I've added five. It's scriptural. It's in order. Add more. Kalebo sakateye. Kalebo suva katende. Is a condition for harvest. Elebo osande. 
Let me hear you begin to pray while the choir is singing. Be praying, be praying. Hele boshane, kanda la baka sekete, kele boko shakaya bakandi, ere boko sande, ayamaka. Let me hear you pray. Ele boko sende, le boko ko sakata ta ta ta. Ele monoko roboko sende, kanda yakata. He said, we're waiting for a new heaven. We're waiting for a new earth. He said he is coming with it, but make sure that when he lands, he finds you in peace. Let him find you in peace. I guess that's what he was looking for when he was checking the garment of those men. Say you don't have peace, throw him out. But it's everything he says, say, throw him out. Kalebo Shande. Kalebo Seketia. Rebo Seneketia Namakazene. I can actually feel the peace on you. <coughs> Whoever is yet to receive it, let it envelop you from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet. Let it overwhelm you. Kalebo Shande, I release it. The peace of God. Let it settle. Let it settle on your entire being. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is coming, and when He comes, He will meet this peace on you. Kalibo sono, tendele katu shakataya, helebo sende, kandele bo sovro do kosekete. Say after me, Lord, I receive it. I receive the peace of God as a covering all over me. My spirit, my soul, my body. Now I am counted worthy before God to receive and to have all that God has promised me. In the name of Jesus. I believe you have been blessed by that message. And I know your faith has been built up. And I know all those challenges in life are all going to fall before you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know Hebrews 12 says, Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. You need him in this walk. And so if you're out there and you don't have Jesus in your life, I want you to say after me, say, Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you're the only begotten Son of God. Come into my life, be my Lord and my Savior. It's as simple as that. Displayed on the screen is diverse information on how you can interact and reach out to us. Take advantage of it and I'll be expecting to hear from you. Till I come your way again same time next week, I want to tell you don't give up. Faith works. It's working and it will work in your life. God bless you.